Welcome back, we are now in the garage and I just wanted to give you a quick look at the spark plugs that I pulled out of the 2016 Z06. I pulled these out last night, I uh, threw some other spark plugs in there. Uh, they weren't the, the right ones for the vehicle, um, but still with the wrong spark plugs in there, I could tell a huge difference with, within the performance of the vehicle. So just taking a quick look of this one, this was uh, banked to the first spark plug uh, towards the front of the car. Um, I don't know the cylinder, the proper cylinder number, but just take a look at that. These are the AC Delcos, and these are preferred by GM. So just take into account, whenever you're making modifications to your vehicles, you're changing the air to fuel ratio, you might wanna change the spark plugs as well. Uh, the only person that would know that would be your tuner. So with that being said, we're gonna go into uh, changing out these spark plugs and I'll show you some tricks on how to get to the spark plugs of the difficult parts on removing some of the components to get uh, easy access, well, to get access to the spark plugs. But I changed them out last night. It wasn't that difficult. Um, I, I believe the engineers, when they designed this vehicle, they made enough room for you to get in there to maneuver and remove and install spark plugs. So <clears throat> good on GM. Uh, so let's get to it. Then we're gonna discuss some of the components that need to be removed in order to get to the spark plugs. So we're looking at the fuse box here. Uh, this is gonna need to be removed as well as the radiator reservoir. So in order to get this removed and out of the way, you're gonna pull up on these levers here. So what's that's done, you're gonna come over here to the side and there's a little cap covering your positive and your negative wires here. Before you actually take those off, make sure you go to the battery and disconnect the positive positive wire, right? So if you don't know where the battery is, it's in the back of the vehicle, back right, and you're gonna remove the positive wire, which is right here. Uh, these poky little fuse box plugs so if you look right here there's a tab there's a tab right there i have my index finger on it so you're gonna push in on that and there's these little clips on the bottom that slide these these uh these plugs back and forth so you're gonna pull that tab i'm gonna do it one-handedly see you see that motion once you press that tab slide it back and it'll lift right up. Right. So, for this side, there's a little tab here. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Here's the tab. Slides right back, and you lift right up on it. Alright, so we're gonna complete the rest of that. I wouldn't worry, worry so much about the order because these are really just gonna fall in place. It's on tape, right? So, we got blue green, blue blue, blue gray, blue black, and blue white. So that's the order. You should mess it up for some reason. I don't see why you would, but now it's documented. So I'm gonna get ready and actually uh, remove this, and then I'll remove the actual radiator reservoir. Whew, hard work.
thing out. It's, a little, it's gonna be a little bit tricky because you're working with limited space here. But I have found to use, actually remove these out of the way, the ones to the right. Pull up. One other thing, there is a AC clip here. So you just push in on this little clip, it should pop right off. So that was keeping it from coming out. So don't forget that, you don't want to break your AC line. But yeah, you picked up on it, just like that. That bad boy's out of there. Boom. So now we're gonna remove this radiator reservoir. So now you can see, we're working with a whole lot more room here, so I can get to these spark plugs pretty easily. Hopefully you can see that. Remove the radiator reservoir, and you're gonna use the same uh, socket. So I said 10 millimeter before, right? 10 millimeter, in order to remove these two bolts. There's one here, right next to the, uh, the oil, and then there's one just to the right of it. So there's only two, two nuts holding it in place. Now, when you remove this radiator reservoir, you're not taking it out, you're just moving it out of the way. So, there's two hoses. This one here, and then there's one underneath. There's a pretty big, pretty large size hose that connects to the, the bottom portion of this reservoir. So you're not removing it, you're just moving it out of the way. So when you do this, you wanna be careful and make sure, you know, the the radiator fluid in it is not hot. Right now it is still hot. So we're gonna take a break after this and let the engine actually cool down. But, um, and it's not overfilled because once you uh, move this out of the way, it's gonna be at an angle, but you'll have enough room to maneuver to get to that back spark plug. So we're gonna let it cool down and I'll be right back. Today. If you like videos like this, please leave comments below. Please remember that this is to support wounded warrior programs and veterans that are struggling on a day to day basis. By watching these videos and subscribing, that will enable me to get monetized and contribute funds towards those various programs. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video, and God bless.